Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a surprising turn of events involving Paul George and his departure from the Los Angeles Clippers. On a recent episode of Podcast P, George revealed why he left the Clippers and how negotiations fell apart. Let's get into the details that led him to land in Philadelphia. Many believe Los Angeles would be the last stop of Paul George's career. Going home was a significant consideration when he was traded to the Clippers. But surprisingly, the Clippers ended up letting PG walk away in free agency after he and the team could not agree on a new deal. On the latest episode of Podcast P, the nine-time All-Star explains what drove him to leave the Clippers and likely finish his career somewhere other than his hometown. George said, and I quote, I thought I played well enough for them to be like, you know what, he's a part of our future. I thought I did that. I thought I earned that. PG began by telling his co-hosts that the negotiation started before the previous season, with the Clippers offering him a disrespectful two-year $60 million deal. The number increased to around $44 to $45 million per year in the next couple of months, but PG still felt like the Clippers were lowballing him. George then told the Clippers that if they gave him what they offered Kawhi, that he would accept it. The final figure finally reached three years and 150 million, but the Clippers did not want to include a no trade clause. That's when George decided things wouldn't work anymore. George acknowledged this and went on to say, and I quote, granted we didn't win while I was there, but luck has a lot to do with that. We couldn't remain healthy as a unit, but I thought I did enough to earn that. They didn't want to do it. So it was just a stalemate. We came to a stalemate and ultimately it was like, all right, that ship has sailed. With PG leaving for nothing, the trade that sent him to the LA Clippers from the Oklahoma City Thunder officially became one of the most lopsided trades in NBA history. The Clippers surrendered Shea Gilgis Alexander, Danilo Gallinari, four unprotected first round picks, two protected first round picks and two pick swaps. Shea has blossomed into an all-NBA caliber player, and one of the picks became Jalen Williams, OKC's second leading scorer behind SGA. Meanwhile, as George said, the Clippers could not stay healthy and have made just one Western Conference Finals appearance since acquiring Kawhi and Paul George. The Kawhi PG era ended with the Clippers getting booted out of the first round of the playoffs in back-to-back -back seasons. It's a tough pill to swallow for Clippers fans who had high hopes when the duo first teamed up. All in all, it's a sad end to the relationship, but what do you guys think about Paul George's departure from the Clippers? Was he right to feel disrespected by their offers? And how do you see his future with the Philadelphia 76ers? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more upcoming videos and NBA content. My name is Damien Peters. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.